good morning or good afternoon or whatever you see this. Uh, today, uh, my name is Austin Denton. I'm going to share with you registration uh, tips and what to expect for registration coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, next week sometime, uh, I want to say it's probably Monday or Tuesday, you'll be getting stuff for registration. You should be getting a course catalog, which is look a little different this year. It is just on paper. Uh, it's front and back, uh, stapled. <clears throat> it's the same, pretty much the same every year that we have. Uh, it has all the class listings, all the courses that we offer at this school, uh, or can offer at this school. Uh, so if you want a class, uh, or want to know about a class, they're all in here. With the exception of two, uh, or really four, uh, classes, which are dual enrollment English, uh, one and two, uh, dual enrollment algebra and dual enrollment psychology, they are not going to be in this course catalog. Uh, if you are a senior, or you're a junior, you're going to be a senior and you plan on signing up for those, uh, just know that they're not in the course catalog, but they are going to be on another sheet. Um, <coughs> Registration will run uh, from next Monday, February 5th, to February 28th or March 1st. I think March 1st is going to be our deadline. Um, but if you're the whole month of January or the whole month of February, we are going to have registration. Okay, um, so just know that a registration start, starts next week, and you have to be finished by February 28th. Um, if not, we'll catch you on March 1st. We will be in the cafeteria, we, uh, when I say we, the counselors, uh, will be in the cafeteria like we have been the past couple years to answer any questions during lunch. Uh, this is a good opportunity for you to get answer, for us to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, so when, on Tuesday, or Monday, or sorry, so on Monday or Tuesday, when you get this information, when you get this course catalog, you will also be receiving a registration form. You, this isn't new, this is the same one we used last year. Um, It'll have your name on it, have your um, have courses that you can sign up for, and then we'll go through and we'll make highlights of what things we recommend that you take. Uh, we go, we look at your transcript, we look at the classes that you're in, we look at the grades that you've made. Uh, sometimes we ask teachers. So when we hand you this and there's going to be highlights on them, then that's a recommendation. It's not, a, it's not that, it's not set in stone, it's not something that, um, you can, change, you can change it if you'd like, um, but this is something that when looking at your transcript, we have recommended for you. So just know that it's a recommendation, it's not, um, you have to take these classes. You, uh, everyone has to sign up for a, an English, everyone has to sign up for a math. Depending on what grade you are, uh, your, your science could be up in the air. Uh, you might not have to take one, you might have taken them, uh, you have to take three, so you might have taken them all. Um, make sure that you've taken lifetime wellness, that you uh, have taken PE. Uh, foreign language, if you're signing up for a foreign language, make sure you're signing up for two of the same foreign language, okay? Uh, you can't get credit if you take French 1 and Spanish 1. You have to take French 1 and French 2, Spanish 1 or French 2. Um, make sure that you fill out the form. So the form, it, it helps us in case there's any dispute in the future, like I signed up for this class. Uh, but if it's not in Skyward, we can go ahead and look at this. So what you do with this form is you fill this form out. Uh, it's, it's the same it was, as it was last year. You're going to fill this form out, and then you're going to take what you have on here, and you're going to go over to the computer. You're going to go over to the computer, and you're going to log into your Skyward account. So you'll need your Skyward username and your password. Okay? If there's any issue of getting in, uh, you're going to have to come see one of us in, in the cafeteria, and we can help you register there. Also in the cafeteria, we will help you register. We'll bring down, uh, we'll have computers, and you can, you can register in the cafeteria as well. So you're going to be able to log in. Uh, you'll log in. You'll click. Uh, I believe it's registration for next year. Um, select courses, um, and just so you know that these aren't the courses. You're not signing up for a course at this point. You're requesting a course, and when you request a course. Uh, sometimes you might not get it, okay? Either the class doesn't make, we might not have a teacher, um, or we might not have the space. So let's say one of our pop most popular classes is culinary. A lot of kids like to take culinary. Um, and we might have not enough teachers for everyone to take it, okay? So uh, the priority will be going to upperclassmen and then to freshmen. So just, uh, just know that. 
Um, so you need to have your Skyward, this turned back into us, and filled out on Skyward by the end of the month, by the end of February. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to see a counselor. Okay, so on next week you're going to receive this course catalog, you're going to receive a re registration form. We will be in the cafeteria uh, for two weeks. Uh, so come see us, we want to help you out, and then make sure that you have this all done by the end of February. Thank you, have a great day.